Hello everyone, this is me on Strike, and today I'm back with another video, this time it's a video, it's not a stream, of Scrap Mechanic. So, uh, for those of you who follow this channel, um, you know that I did a stream on building a Volkswagen Beetle, right? And this is it. I made the chest out of pipes, which I'll show later. But, you know, many people were like, why did you build it out of pipes? You should have built it out of actual body panels. Oh, well, here it is. As ugly as it is. Alright? I know many of you will be like, why do you use panels? I mean, yeah, panel thing is, and then you also use wood. I mean, isn't that the ugliest stuff ever? And to what I'm, yeah, my response to that is, I don't care. It's my beetle. I like it like that, right? Plus, I kind of like stay as vanilla as possible, and that is pretty aim on the suspension. Anyways, so what are we looking at here? Um, I mean, it doesn't look that special at first glance, I guess. But when you look closely, you see like moving parts and. Then you remember that, you know, I've built it, and whenever I build stuff, I make them as complicated as possible. Fun fact, this thing is lagging me, not just a little, which is not what it used to be. I mean, this thing did not lag as much as it does now. Um, it was barely on that. Uh, border, but it was on the good side of the border where it does not lag. As soon as I added a few more bearings, and with a few, I really mean a few, like one or two bearings, it was starting to lag. Uh, but I guess I crossed that border, and now we're on the laggy side. Anyway, so again, what is this exactly? So for those of you who watched the stream, know that. First thing I wanted to do was, I mean, first thing I said is, I want this thing to have an engine. And why do you want, do I want an engine? And also, leaving this kind of hard. Uh, why do I want an engine in a car? Because I don't like going mainstream as other people most of the times, alright? So I was like, I want this thing to have suspension. Which it does, full independent, it also is exactly how the, the, the original one has, uh, has it, for some extent, uh, these are, these use springs, the original one uses torsion bars, for those of you who don't know to what torsion bars are, those are basically, so, I'm doing this voiceover because I explained it very, very poorly in the video, a torsion bar is basically a bar that allows twist to a certain extent. It, it, it's like a spring, but it's on a bar. And that bar twists depending on the amount of torque it, it's given. And when you stop torquing it, it twists back to what its original state is. So it's like a spring, but a different kind. What I could have done is I could have uh, taken one of these put it in right there and that would uh, would have act like would have act like um a torsion bar um it was just way too stiff though which i did not like so i added springs which are still kind of stiff okay front isn't that stiff some people complain that the back is stiff anyway um i'm getting off topic um right so it has full suspension full independent suspension plus a motor Alright, and from uh, till now, in the past, I've always built live axle suspension with an engine on the front. Alright, and the reason for that for that is is there simply isn't a lot of space to cram all the U joints inside of here and also have an engine. Alright, but I managed to do it. <clears throat> and there's a very very interesting way of how I did it okay so let's see um, 
of course this, is, this thing is a mess and for those of you who are like what what have you built here i was track no don't even wonder it's 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 a big mess okay i guess let's start with a motor all right motor is um four cylinder boxer just for like uh, like in real life all right this is actually a boxer except there's a one little um change to that is, is that, that this bearing originally in real life would be on 180 degrees which means uh when these when these two pistons over here extended those two would be retracted so that means uh every 180 degrees those would be on opposite sides right i mean they will always be on opposite side but whatever what I did here is I put this on 90 degrees, um, which gives me a lot more, I mean, it makes the engine way smoother. And since these are technically one strokes and real life, the, the engine is a four stroke. Yeah. If you guys don't understand that stuff, just, just ignore it. Right. Basically it, it works smoother. So what does that do? Well, you see it feeds in i mean that is the um, that is a drive shaft right there it goes into a gear which is quite a long gear you may you may say you and it is and i made it long so it's actually reliable because sometimes if you just have um a monstrosity that um I mean, oh perfect I, I do have the inventory for this let me let me let me quickly show you um basically that monstrosity is whenever you do this and this all right you put a controller and set it up like this oh okay so i must say these are vanilla gears right and i know that there's uh, mod gears that exist i do not like them all right I just do not like them. Uh, they they they're not reliable in most cases because um, they're really really weird. Anyways, so the problem with this thing is, um, okay, yeah, spin and I degree, so it's the same thing. No, um, I said forty five, right, forty five degrees. So the problem with this thing is, is that every time you do this. And since it has to be the same width, all right, it just does not work because it feeds to a smaller gear, uh, which does not have the same width as this. It just doesn't, it wouldn't work, right? So you need it to be too thick, all right, both sides, not only one side, both sides. But the problem is if I take this and put it back there, this happens, all right? And there's, Sometimes you can fix it by just changing the, the bearing, but that is unreliable because that means 50% of the chance it might not work. Actually, there's also chance where it completely breaks like this. This top part just goes to the side, whatever. Like I said, unreliable in this case. So what I did is I made s such gear. All right, um, I should probably do this. I made this gear, right? This gear is like, it works in a similar way. Uh, it has metal because uh, it, it, this uses the weight so it can have like a flywheel, all right? This is also a fl um, like it doubles as a flywheel for the motor. Anyways, um, so again, same thing, 45 degrees. So I can have an 80 uh, gear right there, but this feeds into a smaller gear, but Fine, I mean, that that I have that is possible, many people have done that. One thing I did not know that you could do like that, something that I just tried on a stream, and you guys can see that I did that. I, or did I? No, actually, I did not do that on stream, I forgot. I did that off stream. Anyways, um, what I did is, I, this gear is not in line uh, with that drive shaft so it's one block lower so that means it's a little bit below that and it would have uh, it, it works just like it would uh, it would work one block higher but this gives me a better ground clearance here plus um 
if I add it a little bit higher, that means the motor would have to be one lower compared to the wheels. And that is not good because if the motor is so low, there's even less ground clearance, right? So I know many people will be like, well, why don't you just push the wheels backward and you have an independent suspension, right? Not so easy because see these things, all right, these things have very limited travel. It's because they're so crammed together. These are U-joints, right? These are U-joints on both sides. And look how close they are together. You see this? That's not even a Glock this uh, a Glock? No, a uh, block distance in between. These are straight next to each other. Right? But this is still a U-joint. Uh, I mean, a double U-joint. Uh, it acts like, a, I mean, original bug. No, Beetle, not a bug. I always uh, mispronounce those. Or like, uh, mistake them. The original one has CV joints over here, right? Um, these are kind of hard to do in this situation. So, yeah, U joints is your uh, are your friends here, except that they're pretty hard to make. Shortly said, it's just very crammed up together, and it it's I don't know. I'm really proud of this. All right, I learned a lot of things. Um, for this project, and I'm pretty sure for the future I could do something similar and make it even more efficient which would be hard all right um one more thing why did i have why do i have such a giant gear i mean why do i have a a motor or an engine feeding to a gear that feeds to a smaller gear all right so simple answer this thing is pretty slow i mean it's slow already but that is because it's lacking power it's pretty slow, right? The motor was pretty slow and it could... I mean, you could outrun that thing, right? No, you can barely outrun it. I mean, no, sometimes it even outruns you. I mean, depends on game lag or, or whatever. So, if I start this thing here, is it gonna... Yeah, it is. Um, let me move this a little bit. Alright. Um, so, I really hope I haven't bored you so far because... Um, I'm still getting started to, to the video because um, I haven't done s such videos like never actually. Anyways, um, I just started the motor and you see it's kind of breaking. Uh, and there's a lot of smoke because a lot of parts are hitting on other parts. Anyways, this is pretty slow still. I mean, you can see the uh, motor is running pretty slow. And this is over the ground, right? So that means it has barely any resistance. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it took off. And that's how fast it is, I guess. I mean, you did see it. How, uh, you, did saw, uh, you did see how fast it was at the beginning anyway. So, I just put it on the lift and then press the switch. So, stupid me. Um, right. I tried to make it look good, right? Uh, and let me show you how the original one looked. From the stream i believe it was a two point something yeah you see here i've had multiple generations right this was the, the original one uh this one does not look bad either all right i i like the the way it looks of this and i wanted to leave it like that originally but it has better curves i guess than this but many people wanted a body so I did give it a body. Plus, this one has a little bit of a lower bumper here, which was not very good. By the way, for those of you who are wondering what this thing is, this is the timing um, timing wheel. Basically, this will allow you to change gears. No, you don't change gears. You go back, forward or backward by changing the rotation of the motor. Anyways. Um, functions, this thing has barely any, like barely any functions. Um, you see it has uh, blinkers, yeah those don't work, they're connected to the gas pedal because that's how it works, or no it isn't, I just connected it to something so they don't, they don't flash right away when you spawn that, but honestly the, those 
don't have a purpose yet. I mean, you guys could put uh, those silly blinker systems where you, when you press D, it goes. Uh, it, I mean, right blinker goes, and then if you press A, left blinker goes. I find that kind of stupid. I'll rather have those on switches. So, since I couldn't have switches on the steering wheel, I just decided to not do that. Anyways, bumper front bumper. I guess this hatch does not open or frunk that's what people call it frunk front trunk um yeah there's uh, doors don't open uh it, that would just add a lot of complexity right and i tried to avoid that and did i see unpainted wood no i did not good um back i don't know this thing in totally in, to in totally in total work looks kind of weird for me, I don't know how it looks for you guys, but for me it looks kind of weird, right? It, it, it is kind of there, I just couldn't. I mean, this is probably the third time I tried to make this kind of resemble a beetle. And it's probably way too long for its own good. I mean, not for its own good, but it it's a little bit too long when you look at that part there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It just this seems kind of too flat anyways it also has um, a soft top yeah which is basically a piece of I mean a sheet of uh, whatever that is um, f flat whatever um, there's there's a book I said book uh, again uh, there's a beetle that I tried to um, to recreate of or try to copy, all right? I, I, I tried to copy it in in a way the design. Of, of course, I did not completely copy it. The design, the interior looks kind of weird. Uh, interior is pretty simple. In real life, you would still have those kind of vents. You can Google them. They do not look as futuristic as these ones here look, but yeah, basically pretty similar. Also, this one has uh, racing seats because. Um, it's a beetle, right? You, you would love to race this thing. Anyways, right. Um, right, Ti timing system. Timing system, when you press W and S, you see that thing? Um, I mean, usually when you start it, you have just press one, right? You press one, that thing just starts, all right? Perfect. When you stop, stop lights um, turn on. Uh, but if you wanna go backwards, you press, I mean, you hold S until that notch aligns with that bumper. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you see the the reverse lights um, turn on, which allows you to go backwards. And you can also do that while driving. See this? Awesome, right? Anyways, I mean, it's not the best. Like, like I said, it's laggy, it's weird. But I... I like it i love it i mean for me it's it's pretty 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 freaking awesome because like i said i i love to challenge myself and i believe i i managed to succeed with this one i mean sometimes there are times where i where just rage and cannot um do something on a project i go with high confidence where i'm sure that i'll be able to succeed and sometimes you don't and that's okay, that is normal, I mean, you don't always succeed at everything, right? And that's because you're human. But, I managed to do this thing, and I'm pretty happy. So, yeah, um, this thing is on the workshop. It has been since a few days, it, depending on when this video comes out, maybe even months. Because I'm so lazy to upload, and I know, I, I do love streaming, because I am too lazy to exp uh, to upload videos and you, you see I'm not very good at, the, at doing videos because I, I don't even have a script right and most of the times I make a lot of mistakes while speaking anyways um, um, let me know how you like this video because I haven't like I said I can't recall of making similar videos before no I did before I believe I've made similar content, but it was so long ago, so please, uh, let me know how you found it, and 
yeah, I guess. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and of course, bye bye.